Hello, it's Georgia here from Ramblings of Geo. Welcome to this month's challenge, which is Tic Tac Toe. We decided to use a theme where we would include circles, so everybody had to include circles. As you can see here, I am cutting out some circles on a bit of burger wrapper. Now, I decided to scrapbook my very good friend's wedding. It happened in April last year, so I've taken quite a while to get round to it. But basically, this paper was from the evenings, like sort of snacks that we had so I kept some of the paper that was clean and I knew that I'd use it eventually in my smash book so I'm using this paper as the circle theme from Tic Tac Toe I went through the central line and decided to use arrows circles and washi tape um, as you can see here I'm rummaging through to find some washi tape to use haven't really got that much washi tape in the grand scheme of things but I quite like this box it's just nice to keep everything together and it's um, nice and tidy, not too overwhelming. So here I am trying to construct my layout. Um, I think I end up doing about four pages in this book in total. I kept quite a lot from their wedding, um, like invitations and things. I'm using a Smash product here, which is a pocket for the, one of the pages. So what I end up doing is putting in their invitation and order of service inside there and that photo that's laying on top of the pocket I do end up sticking that onto it because I think it covers the pocket up but makes it I'm like utilizing the space well so I'm sticking my circles down that's their save the date card so I'm using some washi to stick that down which is a really good way of making flaps and things inside smash books I've stuck that in with some washi tape which is from the twilight or Creekside collection from One Canoe Two. So here I am going through there. I've got two order of service. One was mine and one my husband's. So I kept one intact and then I cut one of them apart. So this one I really love that photo of them, which I think is from their engagement. So I stick that in. So you can lift the flap up and have a look at that photo. And then on this page, I stole one of their wedding photos off of Facebook and printed it out. And in their ceremony, they had a lovely story about a dinosaur. So I kept, I cut that out and I've stuck that in to use as the background. And then I stick that photo of them over the top. And then I've got a couple of petals which were used. Um, I can't remember if they were table decorations or to, used instead of confetti. But I kept a couple of them and I use a brad and basically pin it to the photo at some point I pin it to the photo um, I have sped this video up four times it didn't actually take me that long to be honest with you but um, I spent a lot of time watching videos in between so I've got little moments where I'm kind of divering and not really doing anything as you can see here, I use my um, scissors just to poke a little hole through the fabric um, petals, stuck my brad through and poked it through the photo. So that means they're sort of held together, but they splay out nicely. Um, I've got this cupcake case, like a decorative one, so I stick that in as well because I took that from the day. I had like a clutch bag full of like little bits of memorabilia from the day. So that's in. Um, I then go through my stickers because what I wanted to do was include some arrows which were also part of the tic-tac-toe um, selection that I chose so I went with these Amy Tan stickers because I like the way they're quite transparent they're not too um, bright well not too bold um, I also had to flick through this sticker book as well to see if there's anything more in there that I could use because they're quite they're just beautiful stickers in all these sticker books. So I found some words that I used, like little sentiments. Put some arrows in. Had a little problem with my tripod there, clearly. Um, I also put 
some oh here we go we're going on to the second page now so yeah i stick the photo onto the pocket which covers it up makes it look a bit more decorative and looks like it has a bit more of a meaning um, I use, instead of my tape runner I use double sided tape because it's a lot stronger to hold these pockets on and if you want to be able to pull things in and out then obviously you want it to be able to stick for the long haul although I absolutely hate peeling off the backing of the tape because it's a nightmare to peel off so I went with the pocket to kind of finalise the four pages what I'm sticking tape on now is off the cake box in the evening so they had a selection of cake layers and you got everyone could just help themselves to a box and take what they wanted but it had their name and the date and everything printed on the box so I thought that would make a nice background um, as you can see here I'm rubbing off ink because my photo for some reason the ink was coming off onto my hands so I don't think it printed very well but kept it all in anyway and then I've got our photo booth um, print there which I love little cake sticker got a lovely little tag sticker there from the Amy Tan put some more washi tape on I love that pink tape it really went well with the rest of the photos just going through now and sticking on loads more stickers out of my the sticker book that I've got just writing look here or look inside I write on there just in case anybody I know likes to look through my smash books they can uh, they know and a little arrow to point it out And then I went with sticking the date on. So these are Heidi Swap numbers. And then I've got, I love these stickers. They're just so cute. Such a good size. And I used the navy because I thought it went with um, my friend's suit. And then I do journaling on it. What I love about Smashbooks is that you can just journal anywhere. So I journal in sort of corners. I write up the pages sideways and everything. I just love that you can just fill in the gaps wherever you want. It's so freeing to use these books. You can just do anything in them. So as you can see there I'm writing up the page along the side. I find it quite satisfying to watch people writing and fast forward. And then as you can see, so there's my circle got two of them for the tic-tac-toe and a flap that has washi tape on and then we have got arrows well more washi tape and some arrows there's another arrow on that page on the right so thank you for watching um, we'll be coming up now to some photos of the layouts um, check out the links below and don't forget to subscribe to see more from the UK Scrap Addicts creative team. I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye bye.